Here is lesson 37 for trombone. We will play Sawmill Creek. And while we're at it, our code word is Sawmill. So, let's play it. You should have already looked through it. You should be aware of repeats, where to repeat back to. If you notice at the end of measure 6, there's a repeat sign, but in measure 3, there's a reverse repeat sign. That means you don't repeat all the way back to the beginning, you repeat to three, where that reverse repeat sign is. And you already know, after you play the first ending and take the repeat, when you get back there, you go to the second ending. So you only play the first ending the first time, the second ending the second time. And the rest of it is as written. Here we go. Here's your first note. All right, so buzz along with me and then we can play it. One. Two, ready. If you can buzz all that correctly, you will have very, very small problems when you play the music. If you can't buzz it correctly, you're going to have a lot of problems. You should have noticed by this point in the book, if you haven't been buzzing before you play these songs, it's getting harder and harder to play correctly the first time you see a piece of music. When we buzz, we teach ourselves not only what the pitch sounds like, but what it feels like. That's a really cool thing for brass, is not only with woodwinds and percussion, not only do we have to know what it sounds like, which is what they have to do as well, but we have an advantage. We know what the note feels like. Okay? You can probably do it by now. Like, say you want to just play an F. That's an F. I don't even have to check it in order to know that that's an F. What if I want to play a higher B flat? What if I want to play a G? So you should know where those pitches are by now. Because you've buzzed it so much, you know what the feel is. All right? That was Lesson 37. Congratulations. You have played Sawmill Creek.